How's it going ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ruffle Rallis and welcome back to a brand new video guys. Today ladies and gentlemen, we are back in Pokemon Sword and Shield and we're going to take a look at an actually pretty interesting event in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now this is a, an event that you could do which is a side quest in Pokemon Sword and Shield which is uh, kind of interesting. I do like the side quests, there was a lot of these in Sun and Moon and also in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon there was a few so I thought it'd be fun to take a look at the ones that are in this game and I thought we'd do one for today's video. If you guys want to see more of these then let me know by dropping a like down. Below. But yeah, today we're taking a look at a mystery, a little bit of a mystery that happens in Pokemon Sword and Shield, a little bit of a mystery side quest event. The first thing you gotta do though, if you wanna make sure to do this event, is to make sure, okay, that you do have access to Seer Ch Chester, which is basically the, I think, uh, sixth gym. Um, is like where that is, which is up here, so Tear Chester, or Seer Chester, is where you gotta make sure you have access to, so make sure you've got that, otherwise you will not be able to do this event, but once you do have access to that place, just gotta fly there, and we can get started with this whole situation, so keep that in mind if you wanna be having access to this, gotta make sure you got access to this place, so yeah, if you haven't been to the city yet, uh, it's pretty neat, it looks like a, I mean, it's, it's a pretty sick looking city, it's pretty cool, as you can see, it's kinda split in two here, as you guys can like see, the city is split in two halves, uh, you know, basically because of the two siblings that, you know, are, you know, resident here, uh, re not residents, I guess is a bit of a better word, but basically there are two siblings, you know, depending on which game you've got, you know, you take on the other one, so, you know, the one or the other one, so it's pretty cool, it's kind of interesting concept, you can see it's kind of split in two, um, with, uh, you know, them having kind of their little bit of a, you know, uh, rivalry almost. So yeah, that's basically what the whole deal is here. So what we gotta do next is actually head into one of the hotels. As you can see, there are two hotels, one on the left and one on the right side. Funny thing is, on the left side is where you can find yourself um, the Game Freak office, quote-unquote. Or I mean, there's not really any office in this game for Game Freak, but there is more or less like, um, how do I put it properly? Like, there's, there's, there's more like a... I don't know, like a hotel room you can find those things, but for the event, we're gonna enter into this house over here. So, first things first, when we get inside the actual hotel, is to walk right up to the elevator and enter it and go upstairs, which is gonna press A. Once you get upstairs, you can actually do a few, do, you know, a few different things. Now, for the event itself, you just gotta go to the left of the first room, but if you wanna, you know, get a few TMs and stuff, uh, you can get Screech in this room, and you can get Fake Tears in this room. So if you wanna get those, you can enter the rooms um, and talk to the Hiker in here, as well as the Pikachu dude in here, to get Fake Tears or to get Screech. So yeah, if you wanna get the TMs, just a little bit of info there, side info for those you wanna know. But uh, yeah, let's continue to the first room here. So, once you enter the room, a little event starts. So, here we go. So, that means the culprit must be among us. Wait a minute. What's going on? He's reacting. Wait, who are you? After all the trouble of deducing things, don't go messing it up now. Well, I'm trying not to, but uh, let's see what the deal is. Let's see Let's see what's going on. What's up? Let's see what this guy's going to say. Where did my Pokemon go off to? Oh, he doesn't seem too happy. I just want to be let go soon. Oh, I can understand that. I can definitely understand that. Uh, ugh, we're accused of being criminals. Will you help us out? Well, I'll try to. I'll try to. Ooh, there's a bunch of berries that are missing. Okay, well, what's the deal? Let's see what he's got to say. Scoff. I suppose I should introduce myself. The name's Houses. Yes, that's Houses, the great detective. I've been hired by the hotel. At present, I have cornered the culprit of a most heinous crime. And that crime is... The strange case of who ate the large quantity of berries in the lobby. Yeah, it's a little bit of a strange, I mean, event, let's be honest. But it is what it is, though. You know, it's kind of funny, honestly. Now, I've gathered the three people who were present in the lobby at the time of the crime. But because of the noise, my marvelous deductive reasoning seems somewhat muddled at present. Hmm, you got an ID. Ooh, what's the, what's the plan? What's the plan, buddy? That's it. You, interfering child. Well, thank you for referring to me as the interfering child. You'll be my assistant. All right, then. Listen to the stories of each suspect and find the culprits. All right, if you say so, mate, let's talk to the kid first, I guess. Sai, so uh, where did my Pokemon go off to? Huh, berries? I didn't eat them. Hey, you haven't seen my Pokemon around here, have you? Well, I don't know. I, I, I haven't. I'm assuming probably somewhere around here. Let's see what this guy's got to say. The detective sure seems, uh, seems like trouble, doesn't he? I will admit that I saw the mountains of berries, but my doctor told me to stop eating the, those things. I've got in I've got in writing here. Okay, so he's got an actual proof that he, he you know that he hasn't eaten them. And finally, we have the 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 lass herself who says, "Looks like you were unlucky enough to get caught up in this too." There was a huge pile of berries in the lobby, right? There's no way I could have eaten that many. I've been saying this that whole uh, that this whole time. All right then. Well, and of course here's the culprit. There it is. Chew. Ah, oh, my Pokemon. Where were you? 
oh, it's the kid's Pokemon. All right, of course, of course it was going to be the kid's Pokemon. All right, so let's see. <laughs> the kid seems happy, though. Ah, oh, my Pokemon, where were you? Let's see what this guy says. I'll admit that I saw the mountain berries, but my doctor uh, doc told me to stop eating those things. I've got them writing here, so he says the same thing. So yeah, nothing new there. I guess uh, we can talk to uh, Lil Squabbit down here. How you doing, buddy? Munch, munch, munchy, munch, munch. It sure is a lot of berry juice on its mouth. Oh, you don't say. Ha ha ha. After listening to everyone's accounts, I have deduced the culprit. Dancer, you are the culprit. Wait, what? My man, my man's a little bit daft. Uh, well, wh why me? <laughs> because you're a dancer. You move and shake your body so much that you need all that food for extra energy. I mean, I'm not sure if that's a reason, like, good enough reasoning to call somebody, like, a criminal. Like, that's just not enough. That's evidence as clear as sharp as the leak of a farf- Really? As clear and sharp as the leak of a farfetched. You don't think it's as clear as the, the leak of a freaking surfetched? I don't know. What what does that even mean? You're no detective, you're a fraud. Yeah, I think so too. Who, who are you calling a fraud? You can't be referring to me, the great detective. Well, I do think it is the case. I can't deal with this disrespect. I'll leave it to you, you find a culprit. Oh, gasp. All right then, well, I mean, let's be honest. Uh, it's none of you guys, is it? What, you think I'm the culprit? Uh, no, kiddo, you're not the culprit. Oh, is it you, good sir? What, you think I'm the culprit? No, not you either, mate. Not you either. I can't eat berries after all. True. You think I'm the criminal too? No. No, I don't think you're criminal. Good, you get it. Exactly. No, you're the criminal. Mate, I'm sorry. I know who the f actual guy is. Full detective is so cruel. I might cry. You're really going to try to cry here, mate? Come on, don't give me none of that. Here is the true, true, true evil. Crunch. Could this be the culprit? Yes, this is it. This is the culprit. This is it. What? Squabbit is the one responsible? Munch. Ah, it's true. It's got berry bits around its mouth. Yeah, it's definitely ate the berries. Definitely. Oh, you're right. I see it now that I look more closely. Muncher. Okay, then. As... As expected of my assistant! Of course! How did I miss it? <laughs> of course. Here, recompense for solving this mystery. Take it. And we, okay, we obtained, oh, a wide lens, okay, then, thank you, well, well, thank you, good sir, appreciate that, thank you, splendid, just splendid, I'm overjoyed, I must be off now, take care, everyone, and he just yeets out, hey, you, just wait just a minute, huh, I guess I'm supposed to chase after him, too, all right, then he went after him as well, mate, that's fair enough, that's this, I mean, this thing is adorable, Munch oh, it's so cute, it's so adorable, it's so cute, oh, it's adorable, mate, I love it, all right, so, it's got, I mean, let's see what it's got to say, it's got to say chew, nice, what you got to say, kid? Thanks for solving the case. Squabbit is saying you did good, too. <laughs> well, he did kind of steal everything. I mean, he did kind of steal the berries, if we're going to be frankly honest here, shall we? But, uh, yeah, let's see if we can find the other guys. Let's go downstairs and see if they ran down. I'm not sure if we can find them, though, but let's just look around in case, you know, that's the, you know if we can find them. So let's see. Are they here? Are they not? That is a good question. Uh, they don't seem to be outside. Let's ride around the bike. Mm, no, I can't seem to see them. Can't seem to spot them. No, doesn't seem like they're actually here. I, I think they weren't able to catch him. I think he managed to get away. That fraud detective managed to get away. But ladies and gentlemen, there you go. That was one of the events within Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. One of the side quests that you guys can do. It's like not a necessary thing to do. It's not really, you know, like required by the game. It's not required in general to do it. But it is a thing that exists. And I'm going to be honest, I really like these Silo Sword side quests. They actually make the game, you know, slightly more fun to play through and slightly more entertaining. And honestly, I thought that was kind of fun. It was just a little weird side thing to do. And I enjoyed it. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, let's look at what we actually got out of this. So, I think we got, like, what? The Wild Lens, I think? Which is, uh, right here at the end, I think. Oh, no, that's the Oval Charm. Wild Lens. Where's the Wild Lens? There it is. Okay, so, an item to be held by a Pokemon. It's a magnifying lens that slightly boosts the accuracy of moves. So, there you go. We actually got two of those. But that's the one that we received. And, uh, yeah, pretty neat. Pretty neat and pretty straightforward. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me know in the comment section down below, guys. What do you think about that little mystery side quest event? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? I actually have a few other ones that I can do for you guys and cover in videos. So, if you guys want to see more of these side quest event videos, I'd gladly make a few more because, honestly, it's kind of fun to do these. And these little side things are always enjoyable. So, I'll try to look for a few more and uh, cover them in videos for you guys. So, if you want to see more, make sure to drop a like down below. Let me know in the comment section down below. Like, just let me know, like, hey, Ruffle, I want to see more of this. And, uh, yeah, if you do not want to see more of these sort of videos, I fully understand that. You know, if you don't want to see that, 
just you don't really say anything. But if you want to just comment, like, hey, you know, not my cup of tea, that's fine as well. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching the video, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a like down below. Make sure to subscribe for future videos. Have a great day, and bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.